Hey everyone, Mr. Steve here with Mr. Kevin, uh, and we hope that everyone is doing well. Uh, as always, make sure that we don't just have our parents' permission, but hopefully their participation when doing this. Your know, safety is the most important thing. And um, with that being said, we'll get started. We'll just stand straight and a sign of respect. And we'll bow. Good. We're going to warm up kind of like we did last time. We're going to work from our guard stance, so our hands are kind of high. Right? We're not working from our, our grappling stance with our, with our elbows a little bit closer to our body. So from this high position, we were first sprawling, which means I have to go from the upright to bend over my knees, and then I'm going to shift my weight from my feet. Uh, Keep, by kicking my feet back, my hands will touch, my knees can touch, but my hips drive forward. Then I shift weight off my knees to back to my hands. So I can hop back up kind of quick. I'm up, hands in front. Then we were break falling. As I go back, so I'm controlled. Break fall. Look at my ground fighting stance. Give like one kick. Oh. Sitting up. One hand back, eyes up, lifting my whole body, lifting my, my base, my hips, coming underneath, and repeating. So. Sprawl, and then break, fall, stand in base. Minute, minute and a half, not very long. Echo! Play. into a simple combination with some upper body strikes, right? We'll work with an open hand palms. So I'll hold the target kind of high. Mr. Kevin will give me two controlled palms. Remember, uh, if you have something like a focus mitt at home, then you can work on power. Otherwise, you know, safety is the most important thing. Good technique. Still keeping both feet on the ground for balance, rotating your shoulders and hips, keeping your hands up, breathing. Open hand palms will give me two palms. One, two, he'll clinch or grab onto the target. It's gonna pull it down for two knees. It could be the same knee twice, or he can or you can switch and do the other knee. It's your choice, right? So it's really up to you. Remember, when I'm kneeing, I'm bringing my foot to my bottom. I'm hitting with the tip of my knee, not the the quadricep, not the muscle on top, right? It's almost like I'm trying to when I grip, I'm gonna, I would be pulling generally as I spear my knee on his low line, whether it's you know leg, groin, knee. Um. So again, with the target, we'll do. Just 30 seconds of two up, 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 clench your knees. Just 30 seconds. Ready? And go. Good control. Good. Halfway there. Keep breathing. Facing his guard stance, and the first thing is he's trying to move with balance by opening his feet and following my movements. So when I move to the side, he's following the same side. I move backwards, he moves forward. I move forward, he moves backwards, which is very difficult to do uh, without crossing your feet or end up tripping up, and that's okay. It takes your time, but that's one of the first things you really want to get down. Remember, his eyes are up, his hands are up. Whenever uh, 
I want, I'm going to swing an open hand palm with control, which he will cover tight to his face. Boom, I'm about to pad out, you palm. Whenever I simulate a takedown by changing levels, he will sprawl, boom, I'm ready to go for that knee. Boom! If I swing a palm and say, down, he has to break fall. Down! Boom. Ground fighting stance. I'm moving. He gives me one kick with control. Remember, I hold the pad away from my body. He kicks. Boom. And I give him a little bit of an arc. He's going to get a hurt. And he's up. So this is a very difficult, complicated drill. There's a lot going on. We're going to do this about a minute. And again, focus on safety. Focus on good technique. Breathing. Proper footwork. Keeping our hands up. Seeing what's happening. Using control. I don't do this. Echo. Play. Go. Down. Down. Thirty seconds. stance, right, when we are training, our, doing our grappling training, when we're not worried about being punched, uh, we still want our neck to be strong, but our bigger, our biggest concern is someone getting into our hips, to our legs, so we keep our elbows close to our body, hands out in front, right, because if this comes in a grappling stance, if I just try to go for his legs, his hands can post and, and keep me away, so I have to deal with his hands. We were uh, focusing on, actually dealing with the focus, so Mr. Kevin's hands were making contact, and my hands were going underneath. I just switch your stance so they can see the angle better. I lift up as I bend from my legs at the same time. And as soon as I get underneath, I step my front foot in. I don't want to smack my uh, head into Mr. Kevin and hurt my neck. I want to keep my shoulder strong, but I do want to put my head on his body. Right? I don't want to be out far. So when they post, I'm in, and my head is in. But again, my neck is up strong. I'm not hurting my neck. And I'm going to grab his leg. And when I, I connect my hands, I use my legs to lift, my back is straight, and again, we generally like to put people on their back, but if he was leaning forward, or maybe even going to put him on his back and he's real wiry, he could end up landing on his hands and knees, and if I just sit there, well then he's going to scramble away. So the moment Mr. Kevin, and for, to, to make this easy, I was throwing him forward. Remember, if he's leaning that way, that's where I'll throw him anyway, because we're always looking for the easier path, right? the path of least resistance. When I say easier, I'm simply meaning the one that we're not going into their defense, right? So if he wants to lean this way, fine, I'll throw him that way. I'm here, I step my foot back and I twist with control. He lands on his hands and knees. Immediately I grab his hips, shoulders, and we were working in on the back. After we worked our full strangle, right? One, two, and three. We're here. So uh, let's do that just 30 seconds. 30 seconds, not long, just like before. Lift the post, still kind of review. Throw them forward, person is going to throw on fours, on the back, either a rear strangle or switch up, you pick. 30 seconds, ready and let's go. Easy transitioning to the back. 
in the neck. Keep going, keep going. Inside, lifting the leg, turning my hips like I'm swinging a baseball bat. Tuck my chin because you want to grab my head. I'm going to grab his hips, his shoulder, throw my hook in. And it's up. All right, in time. So, I want to do the same thing. But this time, I want the person who's on all fours to give a little resistance. So what I mean is, push your head with me. So, this time I need to see. So I go to post, he lifts up, he grabs my front leg, he throws me forward in my face. Right, as soon as he's here, he throws his leg hooks in, boom, boom, the time. The moment I feel him grip, it basically turns into the backpack drill until he makes me tap. So as soon as he's on, I can start to move and roll. He's had to go for a choke. His uh, neck is a sleeve choke. And I stop and tap. And I want you to try to get the choke as quick as you can too, right? So when we're here, you don't want to wait. You go get the choke, boom, right away, boom, and then we'll restart from our feet. And then we start all the way up. So we'll do the single leg, the turtle. I'm not moving before they get on my back right now, right? I don't want to just get away. Unless your partner is really experienced. But if I work with someone who's... Who, who's uh, experienced, then that's fine. But generally speaking, I'll let them get on the back with leg hooks. But the moment I feel that connection, I'll try to move. And again, when you get on the back, don't wait. Get on the back, choke right away. So we'll do this for like a minute. And go. Play. Amazon Music is streaming on another device. Okay. Would you like to stream from here instead? Yes. And then I move, and I move, he's on the choke. He's on my move. Go less than 30 seconds. take that person down, if this was purely a self-defense situation, it'd be great if I could immediately get away. At the same time, the idea of getting away is only useful if um, I'm by myself, right? If I have someone with me that I don't want to leave behind, or you know, if I'm not very good at getting away, uh, then you know, sometimes you, you have a hurt knee or not fast at running. You know, I, I, if I had to choose to engage, right, I wouldn't want to get to the mount or the back. But as always for self-protection, our goal is to get to our feet right away, get as far away as soon as we can. Obviously, there's so many things that have gone wrong if we're already fighting someone. Um, but in terms of just the, 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 the sport of grappling, um, I want to keep that connection. Right? If I take that person down, I want there to be you know, no space between us. They hit the ground, and I'm right there with them. So uh, great work. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back and... and like I said, it was probably our last lesson, so we'll finish up wrap, uh, with the mount, we'll switch on to our next position. All right, guys.